in Capital's exclusive analysis. And today's been discussing natural gas. So this commodity just keeps being bludgeoned day after day. You can see it tried bouncing off of this long-term weekly support trend line that we've been discussing for quite some time now, connecting through these pivots going all the way back to your COVID low here. But nevertheless, it uh, does. It is trying to find some support. But the problem is the weekly chart is just shaping up for potentially some more downside. If you lose this pivot low, next stop is your two. 21 target that's your 618 retrace of nat gas again i do think that it is showing some intraday signs of accumulation being the fact that you are getting some positive divergences but you can see here that intraday we are trying to lose yesterday's prior day low which is never a good sign for a commodity or any type of stock whenever you lose that prior day low you often will get a continuation move to the downside now the day's not over this is an intraday update so obviously things could firm up still but nevertheless Matt gas needs to turn the corner here because it is potentially shaping up for what appears to be a little head and shoulders that could be on the near-term precipice of triggering you can see we're at the neckline right now intraday if you get a breakdown from 244 to 232 that's about another 10 cent drop on that gas which should take us to about 223 overshoot likely hits us in that 221 area so you can see that Matt gas um, is starting to come down on the intraday price action as right now. EQT, a nat gas resource stock, is showing a little bit more life. It is showing us that there's signs of accumulation in this range itself. So this is a name that has almost pretty much completed my measured move down, hitting that 618 retrace as well. Notice how these resource stocks have done a 618 retrace of this entire up move. And then when you look at natural gas, natural gas is actually just somewhat lagging in the near term it actually has not officially hit its 618 and this is kind of what i'm expecting for nat gas to follow suit in the equity stocks is it to actually test that 618 i'd likely be a buyer of the equity around this area if nat gas flushes to 220 but even for long-term holders it does look like an interesting opportunity but just be aware the widowmaker itself has the tendency to overshoot in both directions if for some reason we lose the 618 your next stop is going to be this trend line, pivot to pivot to pivot, and that puts us all the way around two bucks, maybe 204 on the charts. So just keep in mind that there's a lot of different support levels layered in here. Uh, just because you know we hit one support level doesn't mean it's guaranteed to bounce. So always understand that if you start buying here, it could go to the 618. If you start buying at the 618, it could obviously go to two bucks. So just keep your positions in a in an environment where you can manage them and your risk tolerance is followed and and you've got to be able to sleep at night do not over leverage yourself on that note thank you all for being uh, subscribers to my channel please hit that like button down below and we will see you on the charts a little bit later